How are you gonna figure that one out? Is anyone here younger than 25? And boy, do we have three exciting guests for you! Okay. All right. Hello, my name is Georgie Park, and this is the Park Show. Um, we, are, we are broadcasting live from the uh, Tether Vision Studio in Nottingham, and boy, do we have a very exciting guest for you. Our special guests each <coughs> have an unbelievable ability and they are going to talk about their talents with us. And tonight, okay, please join me in giving a big round of applause to our first guest, Emma Leach from Kent. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
One second. Uh, the computer behind her. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, hi, um, hi Emma. Tell us about <laughs> your, yourself and your ability to travel in time. Great, hi. Well, um, my name's Emma, and uh, when I was younger, then I started having very intense dreams about certain periods of history. So I would amaze my parents by telling them things that had happened in the Second World War or in the Middle Ages, things that I couldn't have known about as a kid, you know? Um, so one day I was sat having dinner with my parents um, and I was having this daydream about the 1970s mm -hmm. and I said to them, something has changed. Now, they didn't know what I was talking about, um, so I explained to them that the place where they fell in love was no longer the Vietnam War demonstration in Soho. It was now when they went to the cinema together to see Live and Let Die a few months later. Um, I mean, they were, they were confused by this because they didn't know how I could know these things that had happened before I was born. But also they remembered falling in love at the cinema because their memories had changed too. Mm -hmm. So they just put it down to me having a strong imagination. Right. And how do you know that that was the case? Well, mainly because of the very specific details I know about these times. Mm -hmm. um, so it got my parents a bit worried and they took me to see a GP and the GP referred me on to a counsellor. Um, and but we didn't get on so well. Um, I didn't like going to see him. So I stopped talking about my dreams um, so I wouldn't have to see him anymore. Um, suddenly this ability was causing me some problems. So I stopped travelling for a while. Travelling in time, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, but now, now as an adult, then I started feeling more ready for it. So I started to do it again. So how do you do it? Uh, well, roughly speaking, um, I just close my eyes and I fix my mind on a particular detail about time and gradually other things are revealed to me, um, almost as if I was actually there. Um, and then there's a shift, so something that I knew to be true before is no longer the case and I have some new information, mm -hmm. that's the change. That's amazing, isn't it? Dangerous. You might, <laughs> you might change the whole history. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been done. Um, I don't do it very much, but um, I think there are other people who, who have this ability as well. Can you give us a demonstration? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. um, I just changed Hitler's birthplace from Germany to Austria. But everyone knows Hitler was born in Austria. Yeah? Well, now you know it, uh, because I just made it so, but you didn't know it a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get straight, let's get this straight, Hitler was born in Germany. Yeah, absolutely, of course he was. Where else would he have been born? But I just changed that. That's amazing. Can you do it again? Uh, yeah, just a sec. Okay. Um, I just changed Freddie Mercury's birthplace from London to Tanzania. That was a good one. <laughs> but Tanzania, don't you remember him being born there? Um, well, you're probably thinking he was born in London because he, he made his career in the UK. Um, but it's, it's true. Um, he was born in Tanzania. You can check it. Or maybe someone here knows it already. Your memories will have updated too. Can anyone check that out? Let's turn our phones up, innit? <laughs> okay, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can check it later. He was born in Tanzania. Amazing. Tell me, Emma, do you take requests? Uh, yeah, but it's, it's useless. 
Oh, why do you say that? Come on, let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Does anybody in the audience have a request for Emma? Um, something you would like to change in your past? Can we change in the past. Yeah, it can, it can be anything. It can be, it can be history. It can be something from your own lives. You want to you change Margaret Thatcher? <laughs> and, <laughs> any other requests? Can, we, can I do a request? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we change the point? Um, um, not far back, but where we were listening to that awful phone ring. <laughs> change that. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <Okay>. Does. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Nothing happening? Yeah, I just, I just changed everything you said. Yeah. Amazing. Is that true? But it's, it's useless. You won't remember. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, so this lady over here, she asked me to swap that grey cardigan in for the horrible jumper she was wearing before. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this gentleman over here, he asked me to take him out of that hockey game that cost him his, his front teeth. Done. So um, I'll show your teeth to the camera if you want. Um, this lady over here, she wanted a career change. She used to be a lawyer. Done. With pleasure. Um, this guy at the back here, um, you wanted me to make you a famous artist. I'm sorry, but I can't work miracles. <laughs> <laughs> there was another one as well. He asked me to change it so that he never came here tonight. Can you see him? <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what they asked for. Yes, it was, but you see, their memories changed too. So when I made these changes in the past, the present changed and the memories. So if I make the changes that you're asking for now, then it will just be the same. You'll forget what you asked for, and you'll just make new requests. <coughs> How confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really if you think about it. <laughs> thanks for coming, uh, thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Shirts, but um, <laughs> uh, is anybody wearing a red cardigan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <sighs> ah, your turn. <laughs> So, welcome back to the Georgie Park Show. My name is Georgie Park and it's now time for our second guest. Let's all give a warm welcome to Miss Sue Wrigley from Lancashire. So Sue, tell us about why you're here. Tell us about your amazing talent. Well, I've actually got two personalities. I mean, some people might think it's, um, you know, a little bit strange, but some people find it very, very interesting. Kind of started when I was 14. I was diagnosed with multiple personality disorder. And, and basically from there, I was able to switch between two different personalities. Now, when I have 
when I am the other person, um, I have no memory of what I've actually done. You know, I, I couldn't tell you what's, what the other person would do now. Um, but it's just basically, um, I, I found a switch, a basic switch that, that will actually give me the able ability to switch between the two uh, different personalities. Um, and it's, it's just something, you know, that I can control just, just like that now. That's truly amazing. Um, so this means we can meet your other personality? Sure, whenever, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Woo! Hi. Hi. Hi um, who am I speaking to right now? I'm Sue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, who, who, hi, Sue. Who, who are you? Um, I'm Nikki, I mean, I'm Georgie, um, so have you switched personalities already? Yeah, I guess so. Can you switch back? I barely noticed. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Hi, did you meet her? Um, who are you now? I'm Sue. <laughs> <laughs> so your two personalities have the same name? Well, I can't, I can't control my other personality. But you know that you share the name? Well... It's not, not just sharing. I mean, we are two people called Sue. I see. Um, impressive. Who are you now? <laughs> I'm Sue. Uh, yes, but which one? Uh, you look and sound the same. Of course I look the same. It's a different personality, not a different body. I see. So tell us, Sue, how old are you? I'm 42. I'm the older one. And how old is, uh, well, Sue? Do you want to ask her? Sure. Hi. Hey, we were wondering how old you are. I'm 42. Oh, I thought I was speaking to the younger Sue, sorry. Yes, yeah, you are. I'm younger by a couple of months. I mean, don't tell me you didn't notice. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. I see. So, Sue, how do you deal with your legal status? I mean, for example, your passport must have your date of birth on it. It must have Sue's, right? I don't even know if you consider it to be... Your passport? No, no, my, my passport has my date of birth on it. I have no problem with my legal status. <coughs> you, you know, you might, you might want to talk to Sue about it. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't know who the real person was. I mean, sorry, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, just, I get it all the time, don't worry. Love. Okay, can I ask the other Sue then? Yeah, sure, sure. Hi. Hello, Sue. We were wondering here how you deal with your uh, not having a passport, uh, with your date of birth on it and so on. No, um, it's, it's okay. If I need it, I just use Sue's. I mean, I do like the fact that I'm off the grid a little bit, that the government doesn't have any of my details. I mean, mm. I actually feel quite privileged. I mean, how many people in the UK could say that they got that as well? Quite a political statement, Miss Wrigley. Mm. <laughs> it's not something I would talk about on, um, you know, on the chat show, and please don't call me Miss Wrigley. Oh, sorry, I thought you shared the surname as well. Yeah, we do, but just call me Sue. Right. <laughs> That's my secret. I guess that depends on what kind of secret. It, it's, it's to do with the talent. Please go ahead. I've got two personalities. Um, yeah, we, we know that. That's why you're here. We've already spoken to the other Sue. No, no, no. I've got two personalities. Sue's got two personalities, and I've got two personalities. Well, yes, obviously, if Sue has two personalities, then you do too. Sue has two personalities, me being one of her personalities, but I have another personality too. <laughs> um, so you have three personalities, is that right? No, no. I am one of Sue's personalities, so she has two personalities. Me, on my own, I have another personality. Is Sue aware of that? Mm. Do you want to ask her? <laughs> um, I'm a bit confused, but yeah, why not? Hiya. Sue? Yeah, who else? <laughs> uh, well, in fact, it seems that you have three personalities. That's Sue. She, I'm sorry, but she makes it up. She doesn't. How come? I have two personalities. She is jealous and she wants two personalities. So she makes the other one up. I'm sorry, she does not have two personalities. But, um... Please don't tell us about that because she actually thinks that I believe her. That's okay. Can I speak to her again? Yeah, sure. Hiya. 
So yeah, you were right. Sue knows about your other personality. Well, of course she does, yes. Is there any chance of meeting her too? It's a him, Simon. Um, the problem is, it's, it's very unexpected. I mean, I can't control him. Um, you know, it, it just comes... Hello? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Simon? Yeah, who are you? Hi Simon, it's nice to meet you. I'm Georgie Park and you're on The Park Show. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I wish I wish Sue would tell us about these things in advance. Gosh, ridiculous. Uh, it's not her fault. It was the other Sue uh, who we invited. We didn't expect you, but we're very excited. But would you be able to tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm 19 and I like football. That's great. Who do you support? Um, um, Nottingham. Forest or county? Sorry? Um, uh, sorry, um... Um, Sue, is, is that you? No, 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 I'm Simon. <laughs> <laughs> sure, well, forest or county? Hiya. Sue? Yeah, y yes, you've got to stop asking that. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess we did, um... Did, did, um, you, did you meet him? Yeah, I guess we did. Uh, we're running out of time, so we're going to have to say goodbye to you now, Sue. Can we say goodbye to Sue, too? Yeah, of course. It's been nice meeting you. Yeah, of course. Goodbye. Hi. Sue? Yes. Look, it's me. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hi again. It's just that I met Simon. Yeah, you might be right about him. Anyway, we're running out of time. Thanks a lot for coming on the show and we wish you all the best for the future. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Sure. Okay, I need another host. Um. <laughs> Does it have to be? You've got the glasses. Okay. Go through the other key. Hello. Yes. Okay, welcome back. Let's invite our third guest onto the stage. She's also a very special person, Lynn Sutcliffe from Derby. Hello, it's to meet you. Hi, Lynn. Nice to have you with us tonight. Oh, thank you, Georgie. Um, nice to meet you. And it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, you're our final and hopefully most exciting guest, so the pleasure is all ours. Thank you. Ooh, can I just ask you something for yourself? Mm. What was it with that puppet? <laughs> uh, man, seriously, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite something. I don't think I can compete with that. <laughs> well, then, this isn't a competition. Mm -hmm. You have two quite unique characteristics of your own. Yes. Right? I don't really know how best to describe them. You're able to read people's minds. Yes. And you are unable to fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I go. I don't even know. Yeah, it's all right. You don't have to, you don't have to tell me. You don't need to tell me. Um, it's as if God gave you the gift of reading people's minds, but deprived you of the ability to fly. Well, yeah, but I don't, I don't see it as a compensation. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of people think that being able to read people's minds is something positive, but it really isn't. You know, it's, it's actually horrific. Um, I mean, basically, I, I can't have any friends. Um, you can imagine why. Well, you're imagining already, and you're right. Uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, sometimes I try and hide my ability, and um, and then people tell me that they think that I'm very empathetic, and that 
um, they feel that they have a strong connection to me. You know, but uh, but what they don't realise is that I just know what they're thinking. So you know, it's uh, I feel I can be a bit ins insincere. And, and even when I try um, and not care about being sincere. Um, I feel that there's no point in talking to people because I know what they're going to say before they say it, so it just just gets a bit boring. Really. <laughs> like now, you were going to ask me what you were thinking, and so that I could tell you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then you were going to ask me what the members of the audience are thinking. Yeah. And uh, well, I'd say that they were probably all thinking the same thing that they were trying to imagine what it's like to to read other people's thoughts. Yeah. Apart from you, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just thinking about whether you've got enough food left to last you till Monday, haven't you, without going to the supermarket? <laughs> so, so you're a planner, and that prevents you from being able to experience the present moment fully. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a couple more people thinking that they don't believe that, that I can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> Even you. Yeah, you at home. I can hear everything you're thinking, so if you could just try and keep it down a bit, please. I mean, it's always the same when I'm on TV. If for some reason I can also read the minds of all the people watching at home. <laughs> You're right, it sounds like quite a horrific ability. I told to you. And what about flying? Is it true you can't fly? Yes, unfortunately. That's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us how you manage in your everyday life without flying? Or maybe you should start by telling us when you stopped being able to fly. Oh, no, 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 it was from birth. And, um... You know, and I, I was aware of, of, of it from a very early stage. Um, I mean, you know, I remember at nursery, um, there was all the other children that, were, that you know, they were flying about around me, and, and I was the only one that could just, just walk or, or even run. Sounds very traumatic. How do you manage in your everyday life without <clears throat> flying? Well, it's not easy, um, but um, I, I am developing my other locomotive skills, so um, I'm very good at walking and running. In fact, I'm better than most people at it. Um, and, um, you know, and even though walking and running have their limitations, um, it's amazing. You'd be surprised by what you can do, um, you know, moving vertically, but you can also do moving horizontally on the floor. That's amazing. Yeah. We have a video that we want to show. found ways to compensate for your disability. Very brave. Mm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see myself disabled. Uh, thanks for sharing with us today, Len. we have time for tonight. I want to thank you all at home for tuning in. I also want to thank our three wonderful guests for sharing their amazing abilities with us here in the studio. We hope you've enjoyed the show and that we'll see each other again next time. <laughs>
Um, we need someone else at the end, don't we? It needs to be a bit different. So. So. Any volunteers, or do I have to just give the glasses to somebody? <laughs> <laughs> mm. so maybe you've done all we have time for tonight. I want to thank you all at home for tuning in. I also want to thank our three wonderful guests for sharing their amazing abilities with us here in the studio. We hope that you enjoyed the show and we'll see each other again next time. <laughs> <laughs>time for tonight i would like to thank all of you at home for tuning in i'd also want to thank our three wonderful guests for sharing their amazing abilities with us here in the studio <laughs> we hope that you have enjoyed the show and we will see each other again next time i'm georgie park and this has been the, jo the park show good night everybody <laughs>